If you guys need your badges maxed out fast and legit, hit up Star Grinders on Twitter or Instagram and tell them JR sent you. Their links will be in the description down below. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 Give me the green What's good also gang we back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys an updated video on how to make my two way slash and playmaker You guys know with season two we got that rebirth quest that you can do in a limited amount of times So if you want a fun OP demigod build that can play defense do every glitchy zero move and consistently get contact dunk animations this build is for you it goes absolutely crazy i'm going to show you guys two different versions of this build that you can make so yeah man make sure our boys drop a like drop a sub turn on post notifications and join the iso gang so yeah man like i said i'm going to show you guys two different versions of this build this first version is going to be the way that i made my two-way slash and playmaker and then i'll show you a second version of the build that gets more badges so it's really what you want to do so for this build, I went uh, point guard, I went left-handed, and then of course my jersey number, I chose the number five. And then for this for this pie chart, I'm a two-way slash and playmaker, but I chose the yellow blue pie chart. And then for the physical profile, you always wanna go with the most speed possible. And now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I set up my attributes. So yeah, man, this is how I set up my attributes. You guys see on the way I made my two-way slash and maker, we get 9, 12, 25, and six. Off rip, you'll be able to contact dunk, you'll be able to do every glitchy drill move as well. And then for the body shape, I always go um, compact on my on my builds, but you can choose whatever you want. The height on my build, I went six foot five. And then for the weight, you wanna put the weight all the way down and then up it just to where you get that extra strength but you don't lose your acceleration. For the wingspan, we are gonna max that hoe out. The reason why I've done this is I wanna be able to finish around the rim better, but most importantly, we wanna play better defense. So check out these stats. 86 ball handle off rip means you can do every single glitchy drill move that I'll be doing. You get contact dunks off rip. Then at 97 overall, you get the Michael Jordan um, dump package, which is super OP. And then look at our defensive stats. This build can definitely guard ball, especially whenever you get that gym rat boost to your speed and you hit 99 overall. This build is gonna be fast enough to guard ball. And then you're gonna have good defensive stats as well. And the last thing about this build is a shooting. Can this build shoot? After season two, I'm not gonna lie, it is harder to shoot. 2K definitely tweak something, but if you want to build that's overall a demigod and is a lot of fun, you definitely want to make this build. It does take a little bit of skill to use because you got to know when to shoot and when to drive and even when to take, take the midi, but for the most part, this build is super OP. So for the takeover, I went with Lot, so we're going to be a demigod on both sides of the floor. And then you guys can see that it comes out as a two-way slash and playmaker. And I'll show you guys all the badges that I use on this build because a lot of people have been asking me. But beforehand, let me show you guys the second way that you can make, make this build. So if you don't make this build this way, you can. This time, we're gonna make this build at the shooting guard position. You wanna choose the same pie chart, which is the yellow and blue. 
and then you always want to choose speed as your physical profile in my opinion now let me show you guys how you can say your attributes with this position so you get more badges so yeah man if you want to do it this way you can you guys see we get 16 finishing opposed to what i got which is non we still get 12 shooting we get one less playmaking and then we get less defense as well overall this build gets more badges this way you can kind of tweak it however you want but i don't know bro i like my build better because i get more playmaking it's better on defense with the badges so i like the point guard position better but i want to show you guys this this version as well just because you do get way more finishing badges and yeah man and again for the body shape i would just go compact and then for the height now if you want to change your build up based on what i did you can um if you want it, like all the drill moves you can go six foot four but ever since season two the Dwayne wade size up package gives you that insane speed boost so you don't really need to be six foot four i showed you guys that in the animation video you could even go six six i've seen this bit at six six and it goes hard but it's you know like i'm saying it's completely up to you but i would just go six five because that's just what i did and then i would just put the weight at the same and then of course i would max out the wingspan just because i want to be able to be a business on defense so yeah man and then for the take you don't even get lock take with this version of the build but slashing on this build would go absolutely crazy and then you guys see that this would still come out as a two-way slash and playmaker now i'm going to show you guys real fast all the badges that I, that I would equip on my build so yeah man once i get all the badges on my build i'll show you real fast what i'll be using so for my finishing the most important badge that you need is limitless takeoff i'll put that on hall of fame and then i would also rock builders finisher on hall of fame and then i'll put on my last badge on slithery finisher for my shooting to shoot the most consistent we're going to need um hot zone hunter and your hot zones and then you're also going to need sniper next i would use stop and pop and then for my last three upgrades i would probably put it on something like limitless spot up or probably shelf just because it's almost it almost acts as a limitless range badge or i would put it on catch and shoot it really depends on how to how good those two badges will work on this build for my playmaking i would do something like this i would have the essentials so those three you need bullet passer i'd rock that on gold and then i would put angle breaker on bronze i would put tight handles on gold i would put quick chain on hall of fame and then for my last badge i would put it on bailout and then for my defense, I'm gonna use um, clamps on silver, taste down otters on bronze, and then I'm also gonna use pogo stick on bronze. And with my last two badges, I'd probably put it on something like menace. I'd probably do menace on silver. So yeah, man, and it really depends on what position I'm guarding as well. So yeah, man, those are the badges that I will rock on this build. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank y'all boys so much for all the support, man. It's been your boy JR, and I'm out. Peace.